guys, if you're thinking, whoa, that's a bold look, it might mean that you haven't seen my video where I did this look and also talked about changes I'm making to my channel and things like that. So if you haven't seen that and would like to, I will go ahead and link that up here. And um, otherwise it might mean that you're brand new to my channel. And if so, hello, my name is Danielle and I'm so glad that you're here. And I hope you will enjoy this and want to subscribe and stick around and yeah, hang out. And so, Today, I thought I would do something that I have not done in a very long time, and it's a favorites video. I realized that there are some things that I've been using that some of them for a very long time, like some even years that I probably haven't talked about, or things that just lately I've been using more, and that I thought I would like to share with you guys, because I always like when people share stuff that are like kind of tried and true things that they use all the time, and you know, then you know they have a, a very good sense of the product. And I'm not talking just products either. This is gonna be a little bit of everything. We've got um, fashion type stuff and personal care and food, and we're just gonna get into all sorts of stuff. So I thought, why not, why not do that? And you know, share some stuff with you guys that I have been loving. So I think I'm just gonna randomly grab things. I think first I will show you, I actually picked up one of these for my sister for her birthday in March, but I also decided to get myself one as well. So I was at TJ Maxx and I found this for $5.99. It says compare $8, but I had just run out of my um, Dove exfoliating body polish. And it is in the one that I love is the crushed macadamia and rice milk. Oh my gosh. I love that. I love the texture of it. I love the smell of it. Everything about that is phenomenal to me. That is my favorite body scrub. So I will say that is actually my favorite. I don't have it on hand right now because I bought this one. I'm going to use this one up first, but I do really, really like this. So I wanted to share it with you. So this is much bigger for a smaller amount of money. And this is watermelon scented. As you can see there, it came with this adorable little scoop. So when I'm in the shower, I just open up the top and I take a scoop out. And that is what I use. And this is what it looks like. You guys, I've been working on this for months and look at how much there still is in there. Now I don't use it every single time I'm in the shower because I shower pretty much daily because I work out all the time. So I need to, if I, even if I'm not washing my hair, I need to get in and like wash my body off. I don't use it every day. It's too exfoliating for that. Like you don't want to do that to your skin, but I use it probably three days a week, two or three days a week. And um, I mean, it's gonna last me a long time. And it smells so good. It makes your skin feel amazing after you use it. Now, what I will say about this compared to the Dove um, body polish is that this is much um, more exfoliating. It's grittier. So when I first used it, I was like, ouch, because I was so used to the other one and it's much like the Dove one is much finer um, exfoliating pieces. Uh, and um, so, yeah. Just something to be mindful of. But I was so happy that I bought this. And I need to ask my sister if she's been using hers. Um, because I do love the smell. Love the way it makes my skin feel. Love the little scoop. And yeah, I just, I'm happy to have it. And I thought I would mention it to you guys. Because if you're looking for a good body scrub, $5.99 for this big of a container. And I'm telling you, it lasts a really long time. You might want to pick that up. Something else I have been loving. My aunt bought me this for my birthday. And, um, but she just gave it to me while we were camping a few weeks ago and I started using it at the campground. Well, every time I would use it and be out around everybody, everybody would be like, who is, who smells like that? That smells so good. My cousin's husband came over and smelled me the one day I was like, he came up and like smelled my head and I was like, what did you just do? And they're like all laughing and he's like, did you just take a shower or something? And I'm like, no, I just put lotion on. And he's like, I could smell you. Like he was sitting a few chairs, camp chairs away. And so we were like laughing. It is the Bath and Body Works Waikiki Beach Coconut Scent. So she got me the body wash, or I guess it's shower gel technically, and the body cream. Oh my goodness. If you like coconut, you will love this. But it's not like crazy over the top coconut. That's, that's not, I mean, you do definitely smell the coconut, but it's not like just in your face coconut. The fragrance notes are tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. It just has such a, I don't know. Well, I mean, it just smells so fresh and clean and like, yes, beachy, like, like you've been tanning and your skin is golden brown. I'm feeling pretty good about my tan right now. <laughs> and it's actually faded some, quite a bit actually. Um, but, and I wear sunscreen all the time, which we will get to that also. But um, you guys, this scent is heavenly. If you like coconut at all and just want that really clean, summery scent, oh, loving it so incredibly much. Now in kind of that same category, I have the Hemp's Fresh Coconut and Watermelon. 
Oh my gosh. This one too, you guys. When I first saw this scent, I was like, eh, I don't know. That seems weird. Like I love coconut and I love watermelon, but the two together just seemed very odd to me. It is such a fruity, like, I don't know. I'm actually going to put some on my hand right now so I can maybe describe it a little better to you. Um, if you haven't used hemp's lotion before, you're also missing out. So I suggest trying any hemp's lotion. I have the original. I like it fine, but it's not my favorite scent. Um, I also have the apple and sand. Is it green apple and sandalwood? Or apple and sandalwood. I don't know. My mom got me for Christmas. That is more of a musky, almost a little more masculine scent. I like that for like fall and winter kind of smell. But this is just, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't smell the coconut as much as the watermelon. So I definitely watermelon kind of takes over, but it's just, again, a very summery, lovely scent and hemp solution just feels so good. I love to just put this on when I get out of the shower, like just when I'm staying after a workout, I get out and put this on, you know, take a shower and then get out and put this on. And it just smells so lovely, makes your skin feel so good. And I will tell you, do not, I repeat, do not go buy hemp solution from Ulta or Kohl's you're going to spend 20 some dollars on this. Okay. That's ridiculous to spend $20 on a bottle of lotion. You can go to TJ Maxx. They are $10.99 at TJ Maxx. So if you are looking for Hems Lotion, now, obviously you're not going to be able to walk in and find every scent you want. Um, it's very hit or miss, but if you're a patient and you just look when you go, I'm telling you, you're spending like less than half of the price usually for what you'll spend other places for it. So, um, cause I know for a fact, my mom spent over $20 on the one she bought me for Christmas, same size and everything. So um, yeah, definitely check out TJ Maxx if you are looking for hemp solution because that's definitely the way to go. And then the last little scent thing I will talk about, this is not being sponsored. They don't even know I'm talking about this in this video. Um, I have worked with Dossier in the past quite a few times and I did post about this on my Instagram several weeks ago when I first got the products, but you guys, it's so good. I have to tell you about it right here. So they don't even know I'm talking about it. And it is the floral rhubarb scent. So Dossier's packaging, I love. It's just simple, simplistic. It's got magnetic cap. You guys, oh my gosh. The smell of this is phenomenal. So the notes are, the top notes are rhubarb, orange blossom, and peach. The middle notes are daffodil, milky accord, and narcissus. And the base notes are cedarwood, blonde woods, and musks. Okay, starting right off, super fruity, super floral, not me at all. Never has been. I am much more of a gourmand. Um, I also got the gourmand orange blossom, I think is the other one that I got at the same time as this. Definitely love it. But to me, it has more, because it's got patchouli and stuff in it. So it has a little more of those warm tone, you know, warm scents, I guess I should say. And where this one is all about summer. It is just, oh my gosh. I wore this to my um, friend's daughter's wedding. My husband can't get enough of this. I can't get enough of this. It is just, and I am a migraine sufferer. I have to be very careful with scents, but for some reason, I have not had any kind of issues with the dossier scents. And it makes no sense to me because a lot of things I have to be very careful. Now, if I had a headache, I couldn't wear any of them, but, but it is just, this is inspired by Marc Jacobs' Perfect Au Day Parfum. I don't say that well, but you know what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you about it because if you're on the lookout for a summer perfume scent that is super fruity and just, but it's like sexy fruity. It's like, I guess maybe the floral and like the cedar wood and musks and blonde woods kind of give it like that more sexy scent, but still with the fruitiness and just, oh my gosh, it's so feminine and I'm way too excited about this and the way I'm describing it is almost a little creepy. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but I seriously love it. I want to smell pretty and girly, but I also love that like sexy warmth to a scent. That's typically what I go for. So to be able to have both, to have the really girly, fruity, floral, but with that sexy warmth, mm, perfection. So again, floral rhubarb. I'm going to try to link everything down below. Um, I do not have an Amazon storefront or anything like that. So anything that I link that's through Amazon or anything like that, I'm not making anything from. If there is still a code for the dossier, I will link it for you. But again, that's up to you if you want to use it or not. I am not trying to make money off anybody. That's another part of like 
appearing back on my channel. I'm not putting that um, pressure on myself as far as like sponsorships and things like that. Um, I don't want to do that. I just want to enjoy having this channel and talking to you guys. So just so you know, none of the stuff that's linked, I'm making anything from besides if, um, and I don't make anything from it. I, let me just say that right away. From the dossier stuff, I don't make anything from it. It's a discount for you and it lets them know that you heard about them from me, but it doesn't get me anything. Like maybe they'll want to work with me again, but um, that's all. So I just want to be very transparent there. And like I said, they don't even know I'm talking about them in this video. So there we go. Up next is something that I have been using for years. I, my, okay, I'm just going to say what it is and then I'll tell you why. <laughs> it is the wet brush. And this one's just a fun, like, zebra kind of print, um, which my sister got me for Christmas probably three years ago now. Two, two or three years ago. Because I had a bright orange, like neon orange one before that. But my son, Riley, he has extremely like really kinky curly hair, like the little tiny curls and his hair, like he shaves it around the bottom, but the top is long and it's like to get a brush through his hair was misery. And he would have such a hard time trying to find. So he tried, I said, try my wet brush one day. And that worked through his hair so great. So I ended up getting him my orange one. And then my sister bought me this one. You guys, I can't tell you enough how much I love these brushes. My hair is extremely thin. What you see right here, it is all pulled around the front right now. This is all I got, okay? So it's not much. And um, so I am very careful about trying not to pull my hair out. I mean, you should see the glob of hair that comes out of the shower every time I get out. It's just, I lose hair like mad. So I do not want to be ripping my hair out when I'm trying to brush it. And you know how sometimes if you brush when it's wet, it'll get that elasticy, like, you know, it'll stretch and break off. No, that's not good. That does not happen with the wet brush. So I get out of the shower with my hair wet. Always start at the bottom of your hair and then work your way up to the roots. And I have no problems with my hair doing that stretchy, stringy snap kind of thing. Um, I'm telling you what, get yourself a wet brush. So like I'm saying, my hair is straight. Well, it has natural wave to it. I straightened it. Um, but my it works great on my, you know, pretty much straight hair. And then on my son's I'm talking, he has teeny tiny little curls. So, I mean, that, you know, if you're somebody who has curly hair, it can be hard to get a brush through. It, with somebody with really tiny curls like that, it's even more so. So if it works that good for him, I'm telling you, it'll work good for you. So I love a wet brush. And again, this is another thing to look for at like TJ Maxx because you can get great deals on them. And a lot of times I'll go and they'll have a ton of different, you know, ones to choose from as far as patterns and colors and that kind of stuff. And then they also have a mini kind of one which is great for like kids and stuff like that. Or if you want something smaller to keep in your purse or something like that. But um, definitely check that out at TJ Maxx too. Um, but yes, love me a wet brush. Now I'll show you some like face makeup-y type products. <laughs> and this first one is something I've been using for a few years now. Um, I had heard about it. My grandma had ordered some, so she had an extra and asked me if I wanted one. And I was like, heck yes, I do, please. Well, I had already entered a giveaway for one. And like, I kind of even forgot that I did. And like a couple weeks later, I ended up winning the giveaway. So I got a second one and I was going to get rid of, like give it to somebody else. But then I realized how much I loved this. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to hold on to that. Because if something happens to this one, I definitely want to back up. And it is the Finishing Touch Flawless, uh, what is this? Facial Hair Remover. You guys game changer a lot of the women in my family we have like the sides of our face that peach fuzz like crazy and I have dark hair but that'll be like really blonde it's not dark thankfully but um and just you know around like under here and you know you get a little bit around here and nothing major but in the summer when I get a tan and that hair gets extra blonde I feel like it's like super noticeable and I don't like that and so um this comes with, well, this is where the little battery was. It comes with a little brush to clean it out. And then it has the actual component here. So this comes off. There's a little blade. When you turn it on, there's a little light there. You can hear and that just rotates around. And you just move it around in circles on your face. And it takes the hair off. And then you just unscrew the top part here and you clean the hair. Oh, look it. There we go. I was just gonna tell you, I always clean the hair out, but I forgot I went back and did a little extra. Um, so you just clean out and use the little brush and clean out the hair in there each time. And I used it right before <laughs> I came to show this, so that's why that was in there. Um, 
and it just makes such a difference in how smooth your face looks the way your foundation and your powder products lay on it your powder products then because a lot of times when you use a powder product on the hair you can see the hairs even that much more because it's like the powder kind of sits on it and I am telling you what, it was such, made such a big difference for me once I started using this. And now if you're somebody who has like darker hair and stuff that you're self-conscious about, this is so good because as soon as it starts to grow back, it's very light, you know, it's light on me as far as color, but I mean light as far as texture, um, comes through and then you just pop it out. It takes two seconds to do it. And so I do it probably maybe once a week usually once every two weeks because usually it doesn't get like enough where it bothers me where I notice it but as soon as I start to notice it I'm like oh okay time to you know shave it again so I will link this I don't you can probably get it a million different places I know you can because I know you can get them at like Dollar General or wherever so Walmart anywhere I'm sure but um this total game changer for me and like I said I've been using it for a few years now so um probably probably four years or well, it's at least been four years so, um, yeah, definitely love this. And if you're somebody who wants to remove hair and doesn't want to have to worry about, let me say that too. At first I tried the facial hair razors and I tried a different, a few different brands. There were times where I would like give myself almost like a razor burn kind of thing that never happens with this. It never happens. I've even gone over like today, I have a blemish right here and stuff. And I've got, you know, some little moles that stick out a little bit and stuff. It never like catches on anything, cuts anything, nothing like that. So you don't have to worry about that at all. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend this. <laughs> Something I picked up at TJ Maxx again. I believe I got it for $7.99. And I can't remember. I looked online at how much it retails for and it was way more than that. So um, it is the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier Broad Spectrum SPF 45. So it looks like this. I took this camping. We were camping at the lake. We were down at the lake almost every day and we were there for eight days. So, I mean, it was a lot. We were down at the lake probably five of the eight days and um, I would put just this on my face. I never burned on my face at all. Never. And I didn't even reapply it was the thing. And we'd be down there for hours and hours and I never ever once burned. And I am super oily, so the oil control and mattifier, it's not joking, it looked so good. Like when I would put it on, I'd be like, wow, like my skin looks good. Like I don't feel self-conscious about how oily my skin looks. My skin looks oilier right now because I didn't use the powder that I typically like to use. Um, then it did, you know, being down at the beach. So I am a huge fan of this. If you are somebody who has oily skin or even just for summer, if your skin's, you know, more oily then, I recommend looking for this and look at TJ Maxx because it was so much cheaper and I love it. It did so good at keeping my face from, you know, burning and getting too much sun, anything like that. And um, the oil control, awesome. And this bronzer. Oh my gosh, I love this bronzer. <laughs> it is the LYS and it is in um, the No, it's their No Limits Matte Bronzer. I have it in Motivate, which is the light shade that they offer. The whole top part inside is a mirror. And then this is the shade. I will give a little swatch. I have used it in several videos. It has been my, like you won't even be able to see it. Look at that, you can't even see it on my hand right now because of my tan. Yeah, I can't even see it. So right now, since I am a little more tan, you can still build it up. So you might think, okay, you can't even see it on your hand. How is that gonna work for your face? It does. It builds up. But even when I didn't have a tan yet, it looked phenomenal. It was such a good, it is just such a good bronzer. I don't know what it is about it. This is the only shade I can speak to and it's the lightest one, but oh my gosh. And I know people with way lighter skin tone than me that use it and really like it. So I think it's just one of those buildable formulas that works great, that you can go in with a light hand and if your skin is lighter, it looks great there. But if you need to build it up, you can and it looks fantastic too. It's never patchy. It goes on super smooth and soft, even in my fingers right now where I just had rubbed that one finger in. It is just like smooth and silky and just, I don't know. There's just something about this bronzer that I'm a major fan of. It is like, I haven't been that excited about a bronzer in maybe ever, but I really, really like it. Also, this is something that I forgot to grab and take with me when we went camping. And it's something I keep in a little drawer back here in my bathroom. This is my bathroom. Yes, very glamorous. 
and um, I use this several times a day. I just come in and pull the drawer open and put it on and I forgot to take it with me and I am a lip balm junkie. Like I'm always using lip balm, but it made me realize just how good this one is because I missed it so much. I was miserable while we were gone because I was like, I need my lip balm. It is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This one is in berry and the applicator is like this. So you just squeeze it into the top. Oh, I think I can see in the light. Oh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. You can't, but I can see the light coming through. How little is left in this and it freaks me right out. It is so dang good. And my friend Christy Polk sent this to me for Christmas. Um, not this past year, but the year before. Pretty sure. Pretty sure, yes. And oh my gosh, it is so good, you guys. It's so good. There's just something about it. I put it on and for hours, I don't need to put anything else on. It's just, I don't know what it is about it but it's wonderful. And there's something I just love about the packaging, like the little, I don't know. And I do know they make it in other like flavors as well. And it just gives the lips such a beautiful glossy look and feels phenomenal. So I definitely am going to need more of this because like I said, I'm a lip balm junkie. Like I feel like I always have to have something on my lips. This is just a million steps above the rest. And I have two of the Laneige um, sleeping masks. This one's Ginger Snap that my husband got me at Christmas, but I also have the berry one. And um, I mean, I like them to put on at night, but it's different than this. This though, during the day to put on, oh, it's so good. So if you're looking for a good lip balm, give it a try. Now moving away from makeup, <laughs> these are something I most definitely did get from Amazon. I really wanted, I love my Apple Watch and I love to be able to change the bands out with what I'm wearing and that kind of stuff. I have like a metal, it's mostly silver, but it has some gold too. One that I like for like if I'm kind of more dressed up and stuff like that. Um, they came in a bag like this, but I wanted something. I love the original athletic bands that like come with the watches. However, it's thick and I got my tattoo at the end of April and I was like, I don't like that my watch band covers the bottom part of my tattoo. So when I saw these thin ones, I was like, heck to the yes. So this is what they look like. So as you can see, it kind of, it goes just right to the top of where my tattoo starts because I love that beauty and I didn't want to cover any of it up. And so I love, it's super comfortable. It's really like just that soft kind of matte that the regular ones are. And so they come in different sets of different colors. I got the one that has black, white, this teal color, and this dusty like purple color, and then this nude kind of tan color. And I have actually worn all of them. I thought it was gonna be real cute and put them back together like how they came the first time. And then I was like, no, you're not girl. You're too lazy for that. So the other ones are not back like that, <laughs> but I have worn all of them and I absolutely love it. It's super comfortable. Don't even notice this there. It's more comfortable actually than the thicker ones, especially like when I'm working out, because I would find that that being there when I'd work out, it would be kind of uncomfortable when I'm doing certain things. And so it being thinner like that is super comfy and most importantly, doesn't cover my tattoo. So definitely loving those. We'll link them below. They're super affordably priced. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with them. I have not had any, I've had them for a couple months now and I have not had anything like come undone, anything weird happen. Um, this one I wore the whole time I was gone camping and stuff and it looks just like it did. And when I'm done working out, I always like kind of wash my watch cause it's really sweaty and stuff. So the band and everything and it looks, fantastic just like when I first got it so um yeah I think these are awesome if you're looking for you know change in your watch band and especially if you'd like one that's a little thinner we're up to the last two items this one is a food item <laughs> and um when my husband brought it home I was like because the flavor that it said is something that I don't like birthday cake flavored stuff like just nauseates me. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the taste of it. I want nothing to do with it. And so when he brought this home, I was like, oh dang, that's not what I want. Because I I like to have um, plain Greek yogurt. Yes, plain, not vanilla, nothing like that. Plain Greek yogurt. It is super like sour and um, like just a tartness, like a, 
I don't know, there's something about it that I love, but I also love kombucha and stuff kind of for the same reason. It's just a taste that I enjoy. And I like to put a little bit of like granola and berries and some cinnamon or something in it for breakfast. And it's good for protein and stuff like that for working out. So I wanted a granola that was like a high protein kind of granola or something like that. So my husband found this at Sam's Club and brought it home and I was like, oh, but I'm like, I don't want her feelings. I'm going to try it. You guys, it's so good. It doesn't taste anything like birthday cake. It's so much better than that. So it is this <laughs> and it is um, low carb keto nut granola. I don't do keto anymore, um, but it is a keto one. Um, and yes, like I said, it's the flavor is birthday cake. But as you can see, there's like hazelnuts in it and little the coconut um, chips are my favorite. There are some little sprinkles. There's like pecans and um, let's see, I need some peanuts, um, almond slivers, like that kind of stuff. Oh, there's um, uh, pepitas. So pumpkin seeds are in there. Sunflower seeds. I mean, it's just a very like seedy, you know, it's not like big chunks of granola and it's perfect in your yogurt. Oh my gosh, it's so dang good. And so, yeah, it is absolutely delicious. It's gluten-free and grain-free. So um, if that would be something, zero added sugar. I mean, if you're looking for something a little to sprinkle in yogurt or something, that would be good. It is so dang good. So I will try to link this down below as well. I don't know why I keep saying that. I'm gonna try to link everything. But if I can't, I'll just put, like couldn't find it. But I did buy this at Sam's Club, just so you know, we've bought it several times. But of course, Sam's Club likes to do things like carry something for a while and then never again. So that's kind of annoying. And I know they have another one. They have a, is it cinnamon almond or something like that? Which is good too, but it's nothing the same. This is so much better to me because I like more of like the coconut flakes and that kind of stuff, um, texture. And the other one is more, I don't know. The other one's more seedy to me. It's got more seeds, I feel like. And so it's just not my favorite, but this one, it's still good, but this is really good. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you, while we were camping, um, some of the people left like on Sunday or Monday, and then we left on Tuesday. And um, my cousin's sister-in-law was coming around saying goodbye to everybody. And when she was hugging everybody, I looked down at her shoes and I was like, oh, those are so cute. And she's like, oh, thanks. And I'm like, where did you get those? And she said, oh, I got them at Target. And she goes, I got them like $8 each. And I ended up getting a few pairs and whatever. They're like so comfortable and whatever. So I came home and I ordered some. <laughs> and I these are the ones that she had on. So I knew I wanted them because I loved the color and everything about them. So they look like this. They have the little white flowers and just the buckles. So here's, they look like there. So you can see the pattern goes all the way around on the back too. And these are the Shade and Shore brand from Target. You guys, I love these. And I also picked up the same, but in yellow. Like how fun are these? Oh my gosh. And on my feet with, maybe I can show you my foot. Maybe I'll put my foot in one and stick it up in the air. How's that? Let's see if I can manage this. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> I've got workout leggings on, please excuse. But with my um, coral nail polish and how tan my feet are, oh my goodness, the yellow is my favorite. Like how stinking cute is that? I'm cracking up at how I'm leaning and trying not to fall off the stool. But just to give you an idea of what they look like. And then I like them so much. I also ordered a cream pair. I kind of would have rather had the white, but they didn't have those in my size and stack. So, um, but I wanted some that were just plain too. And so those ones are on the way, but oh my goodness, are these not stinking adorable. Greatest thing about them, they're super comfy, super comfy. And if they get dirty, like, okay, when we're at church camp, sometimes it rains. And if it does, the roads are dirt. So it becomes mud because you're walking to, you know, the tabernacle for service and stuff. You have to walk on the muddy roads. And so your feet get real muddy. And you don't want to have like shoes with leather on them and things like that that can get ruined or like your tennis shoes get all you know full of water and yucky if it gets like that we've been lucky the past couple of years we've had really good weather but some years not so lucky <laughs> and um so something like this you go back and you can just rinse your feet off like you know a lot of people with their trailers and stuff have like an outside shower so you can just use the little hose and get stuff off but there's also water spigots and stuff that spigots 
they're spigots. How many of you call it spigots? Because I know growing up, I thought it said spigot, but it's not. It's spigot, like S-P-I-G-O-T. I had no idea. But anyway, I mean, I did discover that several years ago, so it's not like brand new to me, but I'm talking about it as a kid. But I know a lot of, I hear a lot of adults say spigots. I'm really off course here, but I just thought I would share that little bit of knowledge. Anyway, you can rinse these off and they will be good as new. Now I did hear that if you leave them out in the sun, they can shrink. So not to do that, um, but I don't need to do that anyway. And then also um, when I was reading the reviews, a lot of people said they run big and they only do full sizes. There's no half sizes. Well, I wear a six and a half typically, like in pretty much every shoe I wear a six and a half and occasionally a six, um, on a rare chance a seven, but that's hardly ever. So usually a six and a half. So I got the sixes and like you saw, they literally fit my foot like absolutely perfectly. Like they are just like so perfectly cradled in there. Can you see, can you see? Like my toes go to the end, my heel goes to the end. Ah. So they're super comfy and just, yeah, they're perfect. This is so obnoxious. That's, that's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to share those with you guys because you can go on like I said obviously they will be linked down below because if you want to head to Target and pick them up she got hers for eight dollars I know she said but they are ten dollars at least when I ordered them they were but ten dollars each for something so stinking cute comfy and that you can clean up really easily everybody said they clean up really well she wears them out to um they live they have a horse farm and stuff and she said she wears them out to the barn sometimes and stuff so she said she just takes them back to the house rinses them off and if they work that good, like camping and being in the dirt and in a horse farm and stuff like that and clean up well, then I think that says a lot about them. And for $10 each, when you can get like such fun, cute colors, the cream ones I got are just plain. They don't have the flowers on them. They have some other colors that don't have the flowers. Um, I was thinking about getting the really light lavender ones, but I'm like, I don't really wear stuff that color. So these are more like colors that'll go with my typical wardrobe colors. Um, and then of course the cream. And I am considering getting the black now too. Um, but they're just like... Are you kidding me? To be that comfortable and that cheap? What? That's what I'm talking about, kids. All right. Well, that is it. That is all I wanted to share with you. I know that was kind of quite a few things, but they're just stuff that I have absolutely been loving, either just lately or for a really long time, that I'm like, I should tell people about these because I love them so much that they might love them too. And so, like, why not share that? That's the stuff I want to share because that's what I want people to share with me. Stuff that I know they actually really love, not just things that brands are telling them to share about. So, um, yeah, check out the links below if there's anything that interested you. And if you have any really good favorite kind of things that you found lately, please share with me. I would love to hear it in the comments down below. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.